Hey guys! So... Hello again, I have... A much better framing! Even on this one! This one's framing is fantastic considering it's a much... Tighter... View. But that's thanks to my neat little screen which is right there off camera. I kind of want to get one for that so I can have two. A longer HDMI cord so I can have it go from there to over here maybe. I think I know where I can get one of those. But on to the topic of today's drinks and video intent in general. So uh, you'll see I've got my phone set up here so I can do a slow-mo if I need to or want to. Probably will because certain drinks here that I've got, I'm not sure how I'll react to them. And it's always nifty to get a good, uh, terrible facial response with drinks. That was a very weird twang. Anyway, so the drinks that I've got for me today are, I have all the way here in the front, Cointreau, which is uh, French, 40% alcohol by volume, because they fucking love to get hammered. Uh, Spirit de Orange, Hormone Soudre de Nature. It's orange. It's an orange drink. It's a premium orange liqueur, is what it says on the back in English. I've got... <clears throat> Those guys seen some better days. Captain Morgan Cannonball Blast. Sorry, Cannon Blast. Um, 35% by volume, so there's another. Fuck my liver. Um, Amaretto. Amaretto. Um, it's Amaretto. I got this just to kind of level it all out. It's 21.5. So far, we're not below 20%. I've got... Smirnoff Root Beer Vodka, Root Beer Float Vodka, 30% uh, by volume, still right up there. I've got this, uh, Breckenridge, Colorado uh, Bourbon Whiskey, 43% alcohol by volume, mm, produced and bottled. What does it say about distilled? Hmm. Produced and distilled are not the same thing. Because there is a uh, very good possibility that this was actually distilled in the old Seagram's factory in southern Indiana. I believe it's uh, Lawrence, Indiana. Next, we've got Bicardi Superior. It's a uh, white rum. I believe this is a... Oh, it's a white rum. It's probably spiced, but without the... Uh... Oh, no, no, this is, this is what they normally spice, I guess. 40% by volume. There we go. That's what I was looking for. 40% by volume. So, we've got those six. However... I forgot to do it in my last video, and I'm, I apologize for that to the person in uh, question, but at Ohio, not Ohio, at Shudokan, I was given a flask by my friend Amber, my good friend Amber, and the last video, I forgot to take a drink out of it, because that's, that's what I say. If it's a shot, if you give me a shot glass, I'll do a shot. If you give me a flask, I'll take a drink out of the flask and give you a shot out. I am giving Amber a shout out right now. They gave me this flask. It's a nifty little, uh, here we go. I'm focus over here, but it's a nifty little Vault Tech flask. It actually comes with a belt buckle that I can slide it into. And I got some alcohol in here. We'll take a shot out of that later, too. So let's go ahead and get these poured. Um. Hmm, so we got a marine shot glass here. What do I want to put in this marine glass? Oh, I mean, come on. Marines? It's got to be rum. But, not Bacardi. We're going to go Captain Morgan. I feel like that's, uh... 
honestly kind of hilarious. So, it's a nice shot glass too, it's really clear. So let's go ahead and pour you in here. I just finished filming my uh, <clears throat> cooking thing. I made a steak, it's uh, right by actually. Look at that, nice. Okay. Um, Caravelle Limonola. You sound like something fancy and disgusting, so we're going to put the coin trove into you. I know you guys are, if you can see it, wondering about a certain shot glass. That one's good. If you can see it at least. Um, you know what? For the uh, good fellow Air Force Base, San Angelo, Texas, this one has seen some better days with its uh, uh, coating. But I'm going to open up the white rum and put it in here since it's a white shot glass. I know the rum is actually clear, but it's funny. Okay, so there's three. Um, we'll put in this little shot glass right here, the Breckenridge. Hmm, it's a problem. The uh, glue that holds the um, wooden top of the cork on seems to have come off. So now it's up to my meager fingers to pop this cork out. It's not coming out. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if we'll be doing Breckenridge today. Maybe, maybe. Mm. 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 Oh, fuck. Fuck. Shit, shit, fuck, shit, piss. Ha ha! All right, that's gonna be a problem. So we got the Breckenridge open. We'll just, um, okay, that's good. I'm going to kind of, you know, not pour it too much. And it's never coming open again. So uh, we'll put that over there. Not bad. Okay, we got two shot glasses and two drinks. So we'll put the amaretto in this edgy wolf glass. Because I know I can at least do some amaretto pretty easily. There we go. I did frame it a little bit off so you can't really see these too well, but oh well, we'll deal with that. And then the root beer float vodka is gonna go in this neat. <laughs> it's a it's an ice skate shot glass. It's a little boot. <laughs> I find it hilarious. Woof. That boot fills fast. There we go. So there's my six shots. And after I do those, I will pour and do the shot from the flask from Amber. So, uh, boy oh boy, I'm doing a long week at work this week, so I'm a little exhausted. I'm on day, I just finished day five, which isn't too bad, except I've got uh, seven more days ahead of me. I don't get a weekend this week, so due to my 
probably obvious exhaustion, I have with me a Red Bull that I'm going to be drinking at some point probably because, uh, tired. And then, of course, my mandatory two liters of water. Two quarts of water. 1.9 liters. It's two liters of water. Let's be fair. Uh, so... Oh, boy. Well, I might as well, um... Is this craft glue? It's fabric glue. Alright. Well, so let's try to not speed through it, but keep it moving. So, we're gonna start with the... shit. Um, I forgot what went where already. We'll start with the cannonball. It's not cannonball, it's cannon blast. Captain Morgan, Captain Morgan cannon blast. So, it's a spiced rum, but um, it's an interesting spice. It's it's not like a, it's not like a oh, fuck. I'm just gonna drink it. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's got a fruity aftertaste. Very fruity. Very delicious. I just, you know, straight shot. I didn't even take a drink of water before it, so it's uh, it's a bit un unanticipated. But it goes down pretty damn smooth. You can take the little after shots there, the little trace mouth. So that's down. Uh, we might as well do the Bacardi next. Get these two out of the way. Since, as you noticed, I just opened this. Record. Alright. This is Bacardi Superior White Rum. Never had it before. Down we go. Yeah. There's a reason that I haven't had it, I think. Oh my god. You know, one of these days my liver is just gonna up and backhand me. Mm. It's actually probably a better place for you over there because there's no window then. Oh, mm. ah. Still a little bit in my mouth. I didn't even drink all of it in here. There's actually no, I got it all. No, oh. yeah. All right. So what do we got next? Oh. Perfect. So what do we got next? <coughs> Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, good. Mm hmm. See this? See that? This is the reason I use external microphones as well as this one. So if I'm an idiot and forget something, I still have audio. So. <laughs> God, am I a fucking moron. Anyway, knowing I'm a moron, why don't we move on to just get the Breckenridge out of the way. We got Breckenridge, Amaretto, Cointreau, and Smirnoff, and then my Bolt Tech. I think after the Breckenridge, I'm going to have to take a quick break and take my uh, Red Bull shot because I'm getting a little bit lightheaded. And not from the alcohol, because I've only had two shots, so it's exhaustion. So, it's uh, whiskey, and since you guys know how much I love whiskeys, we're going to um, go ahead and slumo that as well. Cheers.
Oh. 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 Mmm. Mmm. God. Mmm. Fuck me. Oh, give me a minute. I'm just making sure that it's all good focus. Good. Okay, so that's... Four down? Three down? Three down. Three down, four to go. So, okay, it's all still going good. So, uh, what are we going to do next? We've got the harsh ones out of the way, mostly. The um, vodka might still be a little bit harsh. Cointreau, maybe two. And I guess the amaretto. I don't know about the vault tech. I actually cannot remember what I put in the vault tech. We'll see. It's going to be a mystery. So, like I said, I'm going to have to take a quick pause and have my... Thai Red Bull is what this is. It's uncarbonated, actually. Kind of a thicker, uh, thicker mix. Much more um, medicinal-like, as you can tell by its medicinal-looking bottle. I'm actually uh, intending, once I get done drinking this, actually, to soak it in some water, hot, soapy water, so the sticker can come off, right? And then, trying to do something to uh, clean up the cap so it's not as branded. Can't do as much about the little Red Bull symbols on the... Uh, that's right, not in focus over there, but... There's little Red Bull symbols on the glass. I can't do as much about those, but... If I can clean this up, take off this um, right here, because it's not going to be necessary anymore. Maybe I'll get a whole different cap entirely. I can uh, repurpose this for mixed shots. Put a shot into it, put the uh, drink into it, have it nice and mixed, maybe mix it before I put it in, seal it up, and I got myself a ready-made uh, mixer that I can drink wherever that is legally allowed to be drank. That'll keep me up a couple more hours, unfortunately. It also kind of counteracts the uh, liquor. Um, I am going to want to kind of keep things moving, though, because I know these two things are low on battery. So, that was actually really good. I regret drinking all of it. We're going to move on to the Amaretto, because that's going to be great to follow the Red Bull, and that's not sarcastic. So, let's get the Red Bull through in this edgy... Fucking glass. Oh my god. It's a wolf howling at the moon. So, I am sweating. So, by the way, it's it's summer out. It's like 60-some degrees out, but... You'll notice that uh, I'm kind of wearing a shirt. I want to I wanna show off these guns. It's, it's time for the gun show. So, um, we'll go ahead and... There's air bubbles in it. We'll go ahead and take the shot and just keep going down this uh, this line here. <sighs> that was really good. It's it followed great with that Red Bull. So now we're down to two, three with the flask. We've got Cointreau and Smirnoff. So we're going to do the Cointreau next because it's in a more standard flash high glass. And we'll finish off with the uh, root beer in the stupid shot glass that I fucking love. Um, I need another drink. I have missed my mouth. Okay, so, control. I'm, I'm more tired than drunk, honestly. And also my neighbor is sitting out in his car, just 
sitting there, not doing anything. Is my phone still on? Hey. Did I tell you to go back to the home screen? I sure as shit did not. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. You know what, though? I don't care, because <coughs> this is what I care about. You can kind of tell it's not drunk. It's exhaustion. You can hear it in the uh, more docile tones of my voice. So, time for some Cointreau. It's an orange liqueur from France. It is fairly high alcohol content because the French love to not be sober. When you've had as many governmental reforms as they make their government go through, kind of, it's kind of a thing that you just, you just don't get, you just don't get sober. In America, you get drunk. In France, it's, you get sober. I'm sure there's some people who are French or enjoy French culture who are going to correct me on that. And you're probably right to correct me. I'm just not going to be listening to it at this moment and in this uh, series because 40% by volume for an orange liqueur. Come on. It's actually pretty good too. I say as I guzzle three hundred milliliters of water. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. I got enough time for this shot. Then I'm going to start it up again for that last one. Just so you guys get the full effect. Also, so my stomach can quell a little bit. So, this is Smirnoff Root Beer Float. Oh, boy. Give me a minute here. I gotta say, this screen that I've got is fantastic. It is probably one of the best purchases I've made in a while. Ah. Uh, I do have another purchase coming in for, it'll probably be that camera. If it works well with that one, I'll get a second one for that one since they both use the same, pardon me, batteries. But it's an AC adapter. So I can just plug that motherfucker right into the wall and not have to worry about batteries. And if it works great on that one, I'm going to get it for that one so I can do the same on both and batteries will no longer be an issue, just record length. And, uh, there's another thing. I might save up and get another one of these because this thing is actually fantastic. But I already said that. So, um, you know what? Why did you go? Oh. Wow, Dad, that was like three hours later. When shopping at the store, he's... He's at three hours ago. He had to go and do uh, invent not inventory. Um, he had a truck of uh, inventory coming. He had to go and unload that. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna go finish shopping and go home. I sent him a text. Hey, I'm heading home. I'll see you at my brother at uh, Daniel's birthday uh, dinner, which is actually a lunch, but that's in a couple of days. And he finally sent me three hours later. Okay. Man, my screen is surprisingly clean. Okay, so now it's starting to get in my head. I'm going to go ahead and get the boot shot in, and then I'm getting close to my time on these uh, cameras, unfortunately. I'd love to be able to do longer shots, but I got to do what I got to do. So here we go. Smear enough. Root beer float in a boot. Did 
Did I start recording this? I did. Well, shit. That does not an easy shot make. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's a good, sh it's a good shit, good shit, but that, that shot glass does not make it easy to drink it. It's too small of an opening. That's the perfect shot glass to fuck someone over with a nasty shot. My last shot today, which is probably one more than I should take, but I'm not feeling too bad yet, is from the Vault-Tec, the vault -Tec flask that my good friend Amber got me. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour the shot out, right? I honestly cannot remember what I put in it. So it's gonna be a surprise to you and me. Hmm. It's blue. It is blue like dish soap. I know me. I didn't put dish soap in it. I think. Since I've never had alcohol in it before, I just washed it out, I believe. Like water, not soap and water. So I'm pretty sure this isn't dish soap. I guess there's one way to find out. <sighs> oh, my stomach is a little bit queasy. I think I'll have to hold off a second. I don't need you. In all honesty. Can... Wow, my phone is really tiny. Not in its protective casing. It feels so... Vulnerable. Oh boy, oh boy. Mm. 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 You guys know what I always say. You don't force yourself to drink. If you force yourself, it isn't going to end well. <sighs> oh. There's a taste in my mouth. What is that? Cannon Blast. There's a little bit of Cannon Blast and Cointreau still a little in the like gum area. See, one of the problems, one of the problems here right now is that I am, uh, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Even with the Red Bull, I'm tired. Uh, I have eaten, but it wasn't a very starchy meal. It was a very protein-rich meal, which doesn't do a whole lot to block alcohol absorption. Um, I could have eaten some chips or well, crackers or pretzels, something, bread, something that's higher in its um, fiber content or... Something that's absorbent to help to mitigate the amount of alcohol absorbed into my bloodstream at one time. 
I have not. All I have done is drink water. I had some beef. It was steak, ribeye, earlier. It has done nothing to help my liver to regulate. The liver is just getting it and pushing it through. My liver is doing a fantastic job, by the way, for how much I drink. Uh, as far as I know, it's not dead. As far as I know. Um, man. I'm both sweaty, but kind of looking good. can see the low battery symbol on there. It's right in the corner by the uh, histogram. Am I stalling? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh. Uh, it's because I'm trying to not lose my lunch. I do want to do this shot. I do. But I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can. I'm... Oh, my stomach is not very happy with me right now. So I'm going to actually have to give myself a pause to go cool off, relax a little bit, and then come back at about... Uh, go, come back in a few minutes, have some something breaded and fibrous to kind of help myself out a little bit. So I'm going to have to do that. Um, don't mind the change in clothing, lighting, sobriety. Um, it hasn't been a whole day since my attempt at drinking the vault flask. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the shot for this now, because I couldn't last time, because I was just too, too gone, too out of it, couldn't do it. Um, I got let out of work early today, um, customer was having problems, so... Plant shut down, plant shut down, we shut down. Great, perfect. So, here we go. Nice, lovely blue shot. And um, the water that has been sitting out since yesterday, actually. Whoops. Here we go. Hmm. Well, I still don't remember what I put in it. Especially since it's now been a day and I had drank since then, but not dish soap. It looks like it is, but it is not dish soap. So we're good. We are good. All right. Um, there's a nice little add-on there for you, so that you don't have to continue wondering what it was that was in the flask. So once again, I want to thank Amber for getting me this. Um. I'm going to be using it. Hold on. I'm a I'm a fucking moron. I'm a goddamn fucking idiot. So the Vault Tech one, Amber did not get me. And I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. I bought me the Voltec one. Amber got me another one that's the same size and fits in the flask holder. Got a motherfucker. Stenson Bourbon, I think it was. You know what? Let me go and find it and check. I am an idiot. I am an absolute idiot. So, this, this is not the flask that my friend Amber got me. 
I bought that one for myself at OhioCon. Now, the confusion comes because it fits in here. I'd forgotten that I took it out of the one that was on my belt to put in the one that Amber got me. So, what Amber had actually gotten me was Statesman Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Flask, which kind of goes with the outfit a little bit better anyway. So, I apologize, Amber, for getting the wrong flask. This is the flask that my friend Amber got me. It is still fantastic. It matches the outfit aesthetic that I have a lot better than the vault Tech one does. Um, for the sake of um, come, for the sake of face, let's be fair here. Uh, I will be putting something different into this in a later video and doing a shot from it then, so that I do actually do a shot from this flask. Um, I hadn't done a shot from this flask, which is one of the reasons I'd forgotten that I bought it myself. So, uh, I apologize for that, Amber. Um, by the way, since, uh, you probably noticed that my sound is a little bit better since coming back from the, uh, checking, um... You know, I forgot. I'm hungry. I'm tired still because work. So, this, this is the flask that Amber had gotten me. This one, Statesman. This one, not the Vault Tech. So, thank you, Amber, for the flask. Thank you very much. I will do an actual shot from it in a future video, but it won't be like this one where I try to do it in addition to the actual shots for the video. It is itself going to be one of the shots, just so that I can make sure I can get it taken properly. So, thank you very much, Amber, once again. And if any of you guys want to buy me a flask or a shot glass, I will do a shot from them on camera, and I will give you a call out to thank you for it on camera. And I will make sure that I get the proper item in the videos for the future. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So this little bit here is going to be a preview-ish thing. So this is going after the video. So uh, I didn't really tell you guys what was in the flask. I just poured it and did the shot. Uh, at least I'm going to pour it and just do the shot. I'm not going to show you the bottle. Showing it to you now, this is what's in here. It's a uh, blue Caraco, Carasso. Um, I'm choosing it because it is blue, almost like Dawn dish soap. So I'm not going to tell you guys what's in it, the flask. And you're just going to think I'm drinking fucking dish soap again. Because that is hilarious. But, as you can see, I am putting Blue Carasso, Caraco, I'm putting a not, uh, uh, fucking Dawn Dish Soap drink in, which it is actually 24% alcohol by volume. So it's not too strong, but... It's going to be strong enough after everything else I drink today. That's for sure. Okay. Can't have any evidence. Hide the evidence. We can't let people know we drink. All right. So, let's get the real video started. <laughs> 